Next up, um, this is a passion project of mine. I know some people don't care, but <laughs> I always cover it. So voting. Um, if you see what, if you're outside of the United States, uh, we're going through a little bit of a turmoil right here. People are talking about election fraud and different problems with the election process. So I'm not going to get into it. Uh, this is not a political channel. I don't care. Um, let the courts settle that. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. But I will say this: we could have avoided all this nonsense by just using blockchain voting. I mean, come on, this is stupid. So this is a pretty good article by Tatiana Reveredo. I think I said that right. Due to social isolation, a large number of American voters opted to vote by mail. That's true, right? Hey, if you can't get out, you want to stand in line, don't want to get the coronavirus. I don't care if you think it's real or not. Maybe you just don't want to go out, so you voted by mail. Great, which increased voting counting time i think georgia is still voting by by hand which is crazy led candidate and acting president donald trump to judicialize the electoral process with actions in several states and triggered intense debates about the veracity and legitimacy of the current american electoral system currently many have proposed mobile voting as an alternative more compatible with current times allowing people to vote without leaving their homes i think this is awesome i do everything online right i order my groceries I pay my bills. I pay my vendors. I can open up my bank accounts. I've got friends who are in the Sergeant Major Academy. They can open up legitimate government classified documents via the internet. I mean, pretty much everything you think of, we can do on the internet. I just don't understand why we can't do voting. I mean, come on. So how does one make mobile or remote voting possible without compromising the security of electoral participation? Blockchain. Um, I'm not going to read the rest because it really just comes down to blockchain. Well, actually, no, I'm going to read this last part. It's pretty good. The combination of sequential hashing and crypto and a distributed structure allows for the protection of voters' identity and the verification of absolutely all votes entered in the blockchain platform, which can enable secure and transparent voting mechanisms without electoral vote monitoring. So this is a great article, but I know uh, people don't like to get bogged down with the minutia. So I will just say this. I interviewed the CEO of Votes, Nimit. Really nice guy, soft-spoken, uh, pretty smart gentleman. And we went over the whole things about, well, you know, how can we protect the identity? How can we make sure that it's not hacked? How can we make sure that it's accessible to everybody? And how do we make this all work? And how do we get it out to the masses? And it was, I mean, all the questions were answered right in this one. Now, it's very long. It is uh, 50 minutes. Uh, hopefully, you can get to uh, the meat and potatoes of it. But it's fascinating, and it, and it makes total sense. He's not talking about online voting. He's talking about using an app and keeping everything super secure. And then on top of that, you can also check your vote going uh as soon as you do it, and then afterwards, and then after the election's even over, you can go back and look on the blockchain to make sure that it was counted that way. And as far as the security and the uh, anonymity, uh, it really is contained with it. And what was interesting to me was that it, this isn't like pie in the sky, like something that, that could happen. Uh, they've already done this in several U.S. states. Uh, West Virginia enabled mobile voting via blockchain uh for federal state and federal elections in 2018 denver colorado utah county utah and two counties in the state of oregon uh they also did the whole process and most of it i think if most if not all was all through votes so they've already done there and done that um the question is why can't we move this along because we should anyhow um i'm gonna link this video at the very end of today's video so you can check it out if you want to but to me it was fascinating because i love this stuff all right so that's it for that piece let's move on